Hi, my name is Landon Day, and I'm about to show you how to get the most from your Graphic Authority products. A lot of the Graphic Authority stuff that we have is drag and drop it done templates for books and cards and that kind of stuff. But here recently, and even in some things past, we've really been giving you elements that you can use to create your own artwork. So what we're going to do today is we're going to create a piece of fine art for this girl's mother using elements that come straight from the new set called Enchanted. We're going to start off using move this back here in the background for us. We're going to start off using this big piece of watercolor paper. We're going to drag over this big damask over onto the watercolor paper and just kind of get it there somewhere in the middle. You can see that this is set up in a folder because there's lots of layers on the inside but for our purposes now we're not even going to mess with that we're just going to take this like it is but if we wanted to we could go through and change all the colors and textures and that kind of stuff I want to be able to see this background of the watercolor paper back behind it though so we're going to paint a layer mask on top that's what this square with the circle is here in the middle the catch is we're going to have to paint on black using a big soft brush and using a layer mask is going to work a lot like an eraser we're just going to paint it off in places and see kind of what we want to do with it here, right? I'm not being real exact because this isn't what I want the focus to be. This is just a background that I am making. If I took off too much, I could come back and change my brush to white to paint some more back on. Eh, kind of like that, so we'll just leave it there. I also want to lower the opacity on this guy just a little bit because I want it to be a little more subtle and not as popping in your face. Oh, there's a big damask back there. So then, what we're going to do is use this cool script brush. This is actually saved as a PNG file, so I can just drag it from there. It's also a brush, and it comes in the enchanted set as well. The text is fairly gibberish with some real, I don't know, we'll say sloppy script writing dated uh, 1977 or something. It's not the point. The point is that it's just going to be a decoration element. Um, I typically cut, crop off the name because I know this girl's name is not Nettie or Natili na something. So we're just going to crop it off on the top and be done with it there. There's a couple ways to make this a little more subtle. We're going to start off by using our blending modes over here, which is right above your layers. Default to normal. If you click on it and push your arrow down, it's going to start changing these guys until we find one that works for us. That one's not bad. So it looks like the one that worked best for us is going to be soft light or even overlay. About the same. Just so it's subtly in the background. Okay, so you can see it's there. Another way to do this would be to, let's back up and just do undo. We're going to leave this as normal. We could come over and use the opacity and change it just where it's subtly there. You can also click on the layer and do a color overlay. We obviously don't want it to go red, but if we click on this box and click on something in the background, you can see it's pulling in that color. And maybe a little bit subtle for what we want to achieve right now. We want it to be noticed, but maybe not noticed as much as what it is. Something there. Looks good. Okay, so we've got our background kind of set up here. What we're going to do now is we're going to drag a tag or a photo frame or whatever they may be called in the collection that you have. We're just going to drag that whole group of layers over onto what we have already started. I really don't like that color of that frame, but we'll fix that. Get it somewhere kind of here in the middle. The beauty about how the frames and tags are set up in Graphic Authority, they're in this folder already set up for you with a clipping mask already created. This arrow shows me exactly where to drop my picture. So drag this over so we can see what we're working on. We're going to drag her over onto the picture. And if we drag it right under that layer, right under the arrow, blink that, it is now in part of this frame. If we come in and look at it, you can tell that the design elements are right here on top of her now. You got patterns that go over the picture. That's all built into this frame. 
So we could be pretty much done there, but like I said, I really don't like the color of the frame. So we're just going to click on the tag and we're going to change that color. Taking it somewhere from in here, make it match a little bit. Uh, okay here, okay here. And be something a little bit more like that. Take the opacity down just a little bit so we can see that texture. And there within a couple of clicks we've got a really cool piece of fine art that this mom is going to love and that my competitor down the road isn't doing, doesn't know how to do, doesn't have the capabilities to do and this is helping separate what I'm doing from what they're doing and the mom loves it. So thank you for tuning in and this has been how to get the most out of your graphic authority products. Have a good day.